Marvel vs. Capcom 2 running full speed on Pot 4, baby! Woo! What's going on, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. This is Keel Dyken coming with you. Some great news. Some really great news today. I uh, just want to keep you guys updated. want to thank you guys for all the support out there. And first and foremost, uh, we've made some exciting breakthroughs today in emulation with the Raspberry Pi 4. So um, hope you guys enjoy it. This will not be a full tutorial because I'm getting ready to head out because I'm really excited. I posted this in some of the other groups, but I just wanted to show you guys where we are right now as far as emulation and the Pi 4 and just understanding how single board computers can emulate things a lot better. So with that being said, uh, we did... <laughs> ...emulator running on the Pi 4 for the first time ever in the emulation station without having to go to desktop I'm going to walk you guys through it a little bit. This will not be a full setup tutorial, but I just want to show you guys that it does work because people did have questions about it. So, uh, the first thing you will need is a mouse and keyboard to set it up. And we're going to go ahead and play Marvel vs. Capcom 2. It's one of my favorite games and one of the games I do like to test. Uh, let's see here. And I just want to show you guys that the emulator redream is on here, as you guys can see. Uh, we're not going to use Flycast anymore, Recast. Uh, so Redream is fully uh, ported in. Um, that was help with the Redream team. I, I don't know all the members of the team over there. So we're going to go ahead and launch a game. And when you set this up for the first time, just to let you guys know, you, uh, if you are using a controller like the Xbox One controller, or the Xbox 360 controller, uh, you will need to set this up with a mouse and keyboard. Um, you do see the frame rate counter up there. Here, I'll turn it up a little bit for you guys. Now, this was lagging earlier today when I first tried it, and we adjusted some settings and we got it running at full speed. So. Also, there is something I do want to point out. I know there's been plenty of videos out there as far as frame rate counters. Uh, if you guys have seen a video with anybody, anybody at all, using a frame rate counter and using flycast or recast, please ignore that. It was a total falsified number because I can tell you this game was still lagging and it was still showing 60 frames per second. Uh, I wanted to do a video on it and I was like, man, I still can't show this, you know, saying it's running 60 frames or 50 frames and, you know, the game is still having a slowdown time. So uh, now that I'll explain all that in the upcoming video and if I don't get to it, uh, but I have been in talks with another YouTuber to explain exactly how everything will work and how to set this up. But I'm pleased to announce to you guys that we did make a huge breakthrough today in Pi 4 emulation. I am using the Supreme Duo. This can also run on any build whatsoever. Don't let anybody tell you that it can't. Um, just make sure it's optimized. But just wanted to give you guys a first look that Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and the other Dreamcast games are running at 100% or heck, maybe even 90% at least uh, for the most part. But, you know, I've played this game for years and I'm thoroughly impressed with how this game is running on here. So uh, let me just show you guys some of the gameplay. See if I can turn it up. Uh, let's do game option. I'll see if I can put on very hard. And then I'll turn the damage down low. So yeah, I'll put it on free. And we're gonna go ahead and exit. So let's go ahead and run the game. And for you guys out there who are Marvel vs. Capcom enthusiasts, you tell me.
Now, because I'm doing this with one hand and this isn't my normal format with how I like to screen capture, just wanted to give you guys a first look. And when this is done, when I do get some time, because I've been very busy still beta testing the Kronos Den and some other stuff that I have, I will try Killer Instinct to see if it will work. Uh, but it has not been a GL driver issue. All right, let's see if Iceman will get in here and do some combos on me so you guys can see the speed for yourself. All right, guys, I think that's about enough of that. But again, we will follow up with you guys pretty soon. Also want to give a huge thanks and shout out to We're Dirty Gaming. He does have a YouTube account. But because he's so busy programming, coding, and we're getting this stuff ready for you guys, please go give him a like on his channel and subscribe. I know he doesn't put out a lot of content, but there's a whole lot of work that he does. So, uh, guys, this is uh, Keel Dykin with the Supreme Team. Just trying to keep you guys updated. Please be patient. I will release... A tutorial on how to do this fully I'm still working on a few things but uh, if you guys are still interested in getting a Pi 4 and using it as your uh, uh, preference uh, for emulation please don't hesitate we're here to support you guys and uh, keep you guys updated with every step of the way but as soon as this is over and I get a moment I will try Killer Instinct so because of this breakthrough that we found out with emulation and the Pi 4 we will see if we can get Killer Instinct running and getting it running at a very nominal rate for you guys. Please stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, make sure you share the video, hit that bell icon. Uh, I will be busy working in the in the shop, trying to get things done for you guys. Kill Dyke and sign out, and I'll talk to you guys later. This is with the brand new Redream emulator running through emulation station. First time you guys are witnessing this. Today's video is brought to you by the pie that's been in salt water for three weeks.